Hey y'all, it's me Marty. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday late morning, August 2nd, and I am in, where am I? I don't even know what town I'm in. <laughs> I think I'm close to Midland, South Dakota. I am westbound on I-90, loaded with turkey, going to Salt Lake City from Minnesota. Anyway, I need to take my break, and I thought I'd do a video or something, and I thought, oh, what do I want to do in South Dakota? It's really too hot for a hike, and uh, I wasn't really sure what to do, and I remember there's this 1880 town here. It's kind of a tourist attraction. There's not really a town here. But out in the middle of nowhere, there's this old town. It's like an old west town. Now, I don't know if this was really a town here and they made an attraction or if it's a made up town. I'm not really sure. Either way, it looks pretty cool. And I don't think I, I don't think we've ever stopped here as a family. I don't think I've ever stopped here. I've been by it many times. And I thought I'd just stop. So I'm going to go out for a little tour on of this little 1880 old west town here in South Dakota. And uh, there's truck parking here, so I parked my truck over here and by the campers. And yeah, I'm gonna check it out. So I thought I'd take y'all all along with me. So I hope you enjoy this video. There's like a little convenience store here, probably a gift shop. It's a Conoco. <laughs> cool, they got motorcycle parking over here and picnic tables and There's a lot of tourist attractions in South Dakota and uh, Yeah, oh my goodness <laughs> That's kind of cool so uh, Yeah, there's a uh, there's an old train here. There's a little diner. Huh. Pretty cool. Well, let's go check it out. Well. I'm just taking my half hour break here, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but by the way it looks, you could spend all day here. All kinds of antiques. This is the entrance to the town. A bunch of antiques in here. And then there's also a gift shop. Wow. Oh, I like these, I like these little miniature, miniature little things. Pretty cool. Wow. Saddles, more saddles, old pianos, some kind of contraptions, <laughs> some Creepy mannequins, <laughs> uh, buffalo heads or something. Well, it looks like all this is for sale. Ooh, old almost looks like an Amish coach, but a French coach. Pretty cool. So much stuff. A lot of antiques for sale. So. So I guess there's some movie props up here from the Dances with Wolves movie. Oh, 
I haven't seen that in a long time, but it was one of my favorite movies. That'd be a dead horse. <laughs> seen it in a long time. Very cool. Yeah. Now she was also in Kevin Costner. <laughs> Okay, so there's music playing. I'll let you know right now I might have to do a voiceover <laughs> because YouTube doesn't like it when there's music in videos because of copyright. So, just letting you know that right now. Wow, I'm glad I stopped here. This is cool. Barber shop and a bath. See if there's anybody in there. Yep, there's a couple old guys in here. <laughs> one waiting for a shave, and one waiting for waiting for a shave. <laughs> And they're locked in there, <laughs> poor guys. Well, it's a little saloon in here. I guess this is where you tie up your horses. I always wondered how that worked. You always see people just throw the rope over the 
thing and they don't really tie a knot so the horses just assume that it's tied so they don't move kind of tricking them I don't know Pretty cool so yeah that was a barber and bath then we have the Culpepper Saloon we have the Sweeney Lumber and Coal over here and we have the Wells Fargo Express there's old wagons lots of old machinery and buildings we got the Everett Zog blacksmith over there let's go check that out Coals burning there. Wow. I like history and antique things and seeing old ways of doing things. Old tools. Big metal. Looks like a top hat thing. <laughs> like there's coal in there or something. anvil there it'd be cool to have an anvil I don't do metal work but it'd be neat to have one sitting in my shop <laughs> they're really heavy they're good solid for pounding metal and things cool well then we have a clothing and footwear patent medicines and general mercantile emporium and a fire company over here There's some pretty flowers growing here. <sighs> really old firefighting equipment. Miniature town display here. It's like a Capitol building. Not sure. Well, I think Pierre is the capital of South Dakota, I think. So I wonder if that's that maybe. I don't know. An old fire engine here. <laughs> Boy, it'd come a long way, huh? Some other buildings. There's a bank. Let's check out the U.S. Marshal in the little jail over here. Looks like the marshal might have slept in his office here. <laughs> and we got some jail cells back here. Mm. Huh. Oh, big old stove there. How you doing in there, old cowboy? Looks like he's been in here quite a while. <laughs> Ooh. 
You think he lost a foot? <laughs> Good night. Nobody in this one. It's ready for you. You're making wrong choices. bank over there and a land office is this a little little house here or cabin ah nice and a bed and a chair dresser a table a little kitchen area here cool Hmm. Hotel. And we got a big saloon over here. Looks like a saloon and another mercantile. Oh, there's the post office. There's a portrait studio over there. Oh, yeah, this is a Longhorn Saloon and Saddle Shop. Ah, Dr. Phil Goodies, White River Tonic, the magic elixir for man or beast. <laughs> Other old buildings. Oh, let's go check out the livery or livery or. Uh -oh. Oh, very cool. Some old wagons and buggies and horses. Fort Sully. Huh. Railway Express. All kinds of farm equipment and buggies. Oh, I like this. Oh, woody here. Boy, not much room in them. That'd be cramped. Can you imagine crossing the prairies, the mountains, and the plains in one of those? Or one of these open ones here. Huh. There's an old covered wagon over here. All kinds of different ones they use through the years and a lot of neat things to see here and a lot of history a little cage for something <laughs> made of wood uh, it's a a bunch of old tools hanging on the wall over there. Wrenches. And hammers and different things. Oh, beautiful old church here. I love old churches. Looks like they're building something there. Oh, well, it looks like, I don't feel like walking out there, but it looks like there's more uh, farm machinery and another water tower and different things out there. Huh. Let's check out the church. Ooh, some more pretty flowers. So this is St. Stephen's Church, Dixon. Huh. I don't know if this is, so I don't know if this is all real stuff and they're moved from somewhere. Or they, they were set up, I'm not sure.
these people are locked in the church. This is both beautiful and creepy at the same time. <laughs> these mannequins are in here and they're locked in here. <laughs> Beautiful old church. I love old churches. Very cool old train here. Oh, well, there's another little church over there. It's cool. The John Dunbar theme is playing from this old water tower. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, if that's another old, I don't know, fire thing or something, I don't know. Another old wagon, my train, here's a caboose here. Some sound effects. <laughs> 1880 Town Railway Express Agency. And they just had a B on me. <laughs> More buildings here I'm gonna walk down the tracks I don't think the trains actually coming <laughs> there's a feed and seed building hey you just wonder all the history here pretty cool the Western Star Journal Peter Schutler Wagon, one of the best wagons since 1843. Ah, oh, let's walk through. I'm going pretty quick through this tour. Is this... Oh my gosh, they're real. I thought they were fake. Look at these little... Are you there? Hi. Hi there, you're cute. <laughs> I thought they were fake at first. Are there horses or donkeys or mules or... I don't want to get too close, they bite. <laughs> My wife was petting one, we were at somebody's house. They had some little horses or mules and... And they kind of nipped her. Oh, here's a little gray one over here. Hi there. What you up to? You're pretty quiet. Huh? It's a hot day, isn't it? You guys got water? Looks like you got lots of hay. Oh, hopefully that can's got water in it over there. Huh. <laughs> to see some live animals. See what's in here. Oh, more wagon. Wagon stuff. Oh, so neat. I like antiques and old stuff. I'm getting to be old stuff. <laughs> Not as old as this stuff.
Ooh, that's a that's a saw there. Good night. That's about a four that's about a four foot blade there. Huh. Bunch of wood here. What is this? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Whoa, bugs are getting me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, y'all? Hey, scroll stars, are you watching this? Are you seeing this? <laughs> There's two. That is definitely a scroll saw. Look at that back there. And then I think, is this, this might be a band saw. I'm not sure. But that's definitely a scroll saw. This might be an old band saw or could be a scroll saw. No, I think it's probably a band saw. This one here is an old band saw. That one is an old scroll saw. Very cool. Didn't expect to see that here. A bunch of old wood and metal and all kinds of stuff. Barn wood. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, some kind of old, I'm, I'm guessing an old bandsaw. Wow. Yeah, when I was talking to my scroll sign video the other day, you know, the old, the first scroll saws and band saws were really big like that. That's what I was kind of talking about with big wheels and pulleys and different things. Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. That's some kind of sawmill lumber thing. Wow. Hey, there's some more pretty flowers too. Very cool. Must be grasshoppers or something are jumping on me. <laughs> so here's a little school, and I'm guessing <laughs> this is an old merry-go-round. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Looks like a torture machine <laughs> but I bet it was fun in its time oh, place to get water here look at that wow check out the dry creek schoolhouse oh sweet look at this Very cool. Well, I'm going to end this little tour of the 1880 town in South Dakota. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next one.